Breakfast from five, Hunger. Okay, Daddy. I'm gonna steal one of these. Want some more eggs? No, thanks. This Ellis showed us this year's citizenship award. It's a medal. It's really big. Like the Olympics. Really? Well, not that big. It's pretty big. I'm gonna win it. It wouldn't surprise me a bit if you did. Let's give another person who exemplifies St. Alden's values. Faith, honesty, grace, and compassion. I just don't want you to be disappointed if you don't win it. When are you having another date? Why? Does it bother you when I date? No. Why would it bother me? Hey. Hey, Aunt Angela. Hey. Hey, honey bear. I found your gal. Em and I were just talking about me dating. Not a date? I found you a nanny. Wasn't that the assignment? Uh, I mean, new babysitter. I know you don't need a new nanny. I don't need a new babysitter either. Stupid. She's still upset about Miss Levia. You should babysit me, Aunt Angela. It would be an honor, my queen, but I think my patients might object. Don't worry, Em. We're gonna find you someone you like. Oh, she also says she's gonna win another award this semester. Hmm. She's got drive. You should be thrilled. Right, Emma? Emma? There's a dead cat in the fountain. Don't be sad. Probably happened very fast. I don't think it felt a thing. everyone. I guarantee you it's more afraid of you than you are of it. Emma Grossman. Thank you, Emma. You're welcome, Mrs. Ellis. How did you do that? We have a nest in our backyard. My dad says wasps only attack when they feel threatened. It's nature, Milo. I hope you're not allergic to dust. This probably isn't the best place in the house to have a meeting, but I'm on a deadline. No worries. Do you make everything here? No, hardly anything anymore. I have two factories going, but this is where it all began. Cool. So tell me about you. Your resume says you were a professional snowboarder. Yep, right up until I blew up my ACL. I need to hear that. It's for the best. I still hit it hard. I just try to avoid the dangerous stuff. Sure, so you've been a nanny for five years. That's right. Seem to like it? I love kids. There's no BS, they're not complicated. If they're sad, they cry. If they're happy, they laugh. It's refreshing. So is there anything else I need to know? Your references all seem to love you. They make a mean grilled cheese. You wanna know the secret ingredients? Sure. Pickles and mustard. Boom, done. <laughs> well, um, can you start next week? Emma's about to begin her spring break. Sure, I can start whenever uh, you Mr. need. Mr. Grossman. Here are the Stiegel plans, and you have a materials call in five minutes. Thank you. Is there anything else? Nope. Is there anything you want to ask me? What's your daughter like? Emma is very focused. She's a normal little girl, but she can be very focused. I don't know how else to say it. She's smart, straight A's, never gets into trouble. Loves hot chocolate. My kind of girl. Mine too. 
And your wife, should I meet with her too? She died just after Emma was born. I'm so sorry. Thanks. So it's, uh, it's just the two of us, and um, we manage. Well, I guess I will see you next week. Looking forward to it. Mm. Your watch is sick, right? I got it for my birthday. I got a watch for my birthday, too. I don't really wear it. Katie, are you all right? You okay? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Here, let me help you out. I'm so sorry. Actually, your favorite. Thanks, Daddy. You want to read together? We don't have to, Daddy. I know how busy you are. What would you give me for a basket of hugs? A basket of kisses. 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 You look like a movie star. Don't make me late, Dad. I won't. Nice suit, Milo. Thanks. He has been counting down the days. Oh, tell me about it. And now, our final award, the St. Alden Citizenship Medallion. Every year, we honor someone of character, someone who truly embodies the values that this school was founded on. This year, I am proud to award the St. Alden Citizenship Medallion to Milo Curtis. <laughs> Here you go, Milo. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry I missed our parent-teacher conference. I had a big installation in the city. No worries. We can reschedule. How is Emma doing? I mean, <laughs> not to put you on the spot. Right. She's fine. She's, um... I have to say, I've never met anyone quite like her in my 20 years of teaching. Why does it sound like a bad thing? No, I didn't mean that in any fashion at all. Emma's never had one mark against her, and she's one of our top students. She can be a real leader when she wants to be. 
But? Emma lives in her own particular world. And I'm sure it isn't anything like the world that you and I live in. I mean, she has many remarkable qualities that are great in a child. Her courage is most unusual. She's almost without any physical fear. And she really knows how to come across when she has to. She could be an actress, I bet. Please, <laughs> not an actress. All right. Mrs. Ellis? Hi. Excuse me. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you, honey bear. I know you're disappointed. That medal's mine. I deserve it. Mello can't even talk in front of the class. Come on. Everybody has something special to offer. Milo's a good kid. Yeah. Well, he's an awful public speaker, and he can't spell. Emma. You're right. I'm sorry. Mel's my friend. I'm really happy he got it. What's wrong? What do you want? Thank you, now. One, two, three. Oh, it's good. I'll email it to you. Sure. Has anyone seen Milo? I haven't seen him. Emma, have you seen him? Um, the last place I saw him was by the bonfire. for hours before they came and took him away. It's horrible. How is she? She's okay. Mm. I think she's in shock. Mm. I think we all are. She's up in her room reading. I'm sure it'll hit her later. <sighs> yes, I'm sure it will. Some cereal? There's just enough left. No, I'm okay, thanks. How are you feeling? I'm all right. 
I hope it doesn't rain today. I meant about yesterday. You must be pretty sad, right? If you want to talk about it, I'm here for you. Okay. Do you need someone to talk to? I don't really think there's anything to talk about. Give her time. Kids process differently. Don't make her feel self-conscious. You're probably right. She's just so strong, you know? I mean, even her teachers are talking about it. Just hope she can take some time and feel. Look who's here. Great job, by the way. She seems perfect. Miller said she was great with Sam. Professional headhunter, that's me. Are you gonna finally take my friend Leslie out? Oh my God, you are relentless. Yes, I will call her. Hey there. Let's get this party started. Washer, dryer, obviously. Wow, this place is amazing. Thanks. It was a fixer-upper my wife and I bought right before Emma was born. Was this your wife? Oh, yeah. It was um, our Christmas card one year. There she is. Emma, this is Chloe. Chloe, this is Emma. Hi, Emma. It's very nice to meet you. I like your necklace. Do you want to see my medals? We have to finish the tour first. Anyway, emergency number's here. All the keys go in that uh, little place there. Um, fire extinguishers under the sink. We have a couple upstairs in the bedrooms. Watch a movie. The wind was blowing a window open. I'll be down in a minute. I don't get it. This is stupid. What's stupid? Shirley Temple? The woman was United States ambassador. Can't imagine she was very stupid. I meant the movie. When's my dad coming home? Soon. He has a meeting. So are you sad about the kid that drowned? I don't think it matters if I'm sad. He's dead anyway. Besides, my dad said you don't feel anything when you drown. You're all warm and fuzzy, aren't you? So what are you into? Music? Horses? I'm into everything. What's the deal with your dad? Got a girlfriend? No. Why? Just asking, no biggie. I had one for a while. I didn't like her. So he dumped her? Yep. You're sort of something else, aren't you? And you're sort of a thief. Excuse me? And you're smart. I saw you take the pills for my dad's bedroom. But not enough for my dad to notice. Don't worry. I won't tell him. I think I'm gonna stay up past my bedtime tonight. Now go and get me some ice cream. You little bitch.
Bring me a couple of cookies while you're at it. Sorry. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Hi, Emma. Oh, don't ask me how I am. I don't want to lie to you. It was a beautiful service. He had a good last day. Mm. A really good last day. I mean, he has never won anything before, and he was so proud of that medal. I just wish I knew where it was. You don't have the metal? Well, I think maybe it sunk to the bottom. Is there anything I can do for you? If you have any pictures of that day, I'd like them. Just pictures of him playing happy. It really does help. doing in my room? Just picking up a little. It is picked up. It's always picked up. Anything else? Believe me, nothing like this has ever happened in our 95-year history. And we're using every resource we have to make sure that it never happens again. But there is a legal issue that we have to contend with. Sure. We're reaching out to all the parents to gather whatever information we can. Well, OK, I, I don't really understand. So this is an insurance thing, or? Well, that's one component, yes. Well, what did happen? No one's given anybody an update. How did Milo fall off the cliff? That's what we're going to find out. Are the police involved? We're not at liberty to share that. Obviously, if and when the authorities are involved, we may share that information with the families. Some families. Excuse me, but is there something you're not telling me? Please don't misunderstand. We're just trying to get to the facts. But if Emma heard or saw something, we need to know. That boy couldn't swim and he was afraid of water. Why was he out on the rocks? You little shit. Any information would be helpful, as it seems. Emma was the last to see the boy. I'm sorry? At least three people saw her near the rock pits. No, we're not saying Emma did anything wrong. Well, I should hope not. Listen, I'd be very careful what you insinuate. <laughs> Emma? Emma? Emma! What happened? Are you okay? We'll show ourselves out. Yeah, sure. You see his arm? You see his arm? All right, let's get you cleaned up. OK? You were lucky you didn't cut yourself worse, honey bear. I'm sorry, Daddy. It's OK. Accidents happen. Do you know why Mrs. Ellis was here? 
was about Milo, I bet. Is there anything you want to tell me about that day? Anything at all? Nope. You're sure? You weren't ever out on that rock face, were you? No. Mrs. Ellis says you were. She's lying. I mean, why would Mrs. Ellis lie? Because she hates me. She never liked me. I don't know why. Why would she say that? I, I don't know what's going on. I'm just, just worried about you. I don't mean to get upset. I'm just sad about Milo. You want me to read to you? I'm not really in the mood. Okay. Daddy? What would you give me for a basket of kisses? A basket of hugs. Sorry, I was just checking on you and Emma. And we're out of milk. Hey. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you last night. I probably could have waited to do the market list. Yeah. So what's up? Um, hey, do you mind if I, like, smoke in here? I would never do it around Emma, but out here, I thought. Maybe. You see everything against that wall? It's all flammable. So no, I don't think this is the best place for a smoking area. Ah, got it. So how can I help you? Emma's arm seems good. I'm sorry, I should have been paying closer attention to her. I was with her one minute, and when I turned around, she was gone. Yeah, I understand, stuff happens. Stuff happens. Hell yeah, it does. So, let me ask you, how are things with you and Emma? Everything okay? Oh, she's great, such a cool kid. It's good to hear. She's so fun and smart. Funny? I never would have thought of Emma as funny. Oh, not in a weird way. She's funny like, I don't know, like different in a good way. Most girls her age are pretty lame, purple leggings and princess posters everywhere, but Emma is like a lady, you know? I do know. Oh, I was looking at more pictures of your wife. She was pretty hot. Yes, she was. Thank you. Gotta get rid of these wasps. Well, I better get back to Emma. She wants to go on the scooter. Great. Anyway, I love my job here. I just wanted you to know. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm sure Emma does as well. Yeah. We love each other. Your dad thinks you have major issues, Curly Sue. What do you mean? He knows what's up. He was grilling me about you. What do you ask? Wouldn't you like to know? Don't worry, I told him how great you are. I got you, girl. Just don't mess with me.
Why is Mrs. Ellis at Milo's? You must be shitting bricks. Gross. Why'd you say something like that? Because they're closing in on you now, babe. Building their case. What do you mean? One day the police will get involved and you'll have to come clean about what you did to Milo. I didn't do anything to Milo. Sure you didn't. Anyway, you'll see. You better get your story straight or you're gonna get busted. Yeah, I'd be worried too if I were you. I'm not worried about anything. You're just being a bitch. Look, I don't know what you did to that kid on the rocks, but I know it wasn't good. And I know you're lying to everybody. And you'll still throw my dad's room. Well, I guess we both have secrets to keep for each other, don't we? My dad says it's not good to keep secrets. If you see something, you should tell. Are you threatening me, honey bear? Do you know what they do to kids that go to jail? Not really. Well, if it's something like stealing or hurting someone, you get sent to a hospital where kids yell and scream and cut themselves. You never get out. But if it's something really bad, like maybe if someone dies, you get sent to the electric chair. You're silly. Nobody would put a kid in the electric chair. Sure they do. Do you know what happens in the electric chair? It cooks you. Your skin crackles and shrivels like when we make bacon in the morning. I don't believe you. Kid wouldn't even fit in that big chair. They have a special one for kids. It's even painted pink and they put pee pee pads underneath it for when you piss yourself. God, you're disgusting. Google it. Emma? Emma, you out there? Emma?
There she is. How was your day? Did you do anything fun? Well, I don't know if it was fun exactly, but I had a good day. What are you doing? Nothing. What's in your hand? Nothing. Where did this come from? Emma, how did Milo's metal get into this house? I, I don't know. Where did you find it? It was hidden under the bed. I found it cleaning. Thank you, Chloe. I need to talk to Emma alone. Sure thing. Emma? How did Milo Curtis's metal get under your bed? I don't know how it got there. How should I know how it got there? Uh, were you ever at any time out on that rock face? Yes, Daddy. I went there once. So Mrs. Ellis wasn't lying when she said you were there? Guess she wasn't lying. Yes, Daddy. Were you with Milo? For a minute. And what happened? Emma! This is very serious, and I can't help you if I don't know the truth. Milo and I were playing a game we made up. It was kind of like capture the flag, but with his medal instead. I won, so Milo gave me his medal to wear. So he gave you the medal out on the rock? No. I got it later on. I don't know where Milo went after that. Uh, Emma, do you know Mrs. Curtis has been looking for this? She wanted to bury Milo with it. I'm stupid. Milo wouldn't even know if he was buried with it or not. Daddy? What's wrong? Where are you going? Just need some air. Hey, Ange, it's me. Listen, I need the name of a good child psychiatrist for Emma. There's nothing urgent. I just think that she needs someone to talk to. Okay, I have the perfect person. Oh, okay. Good, thanks. Um, I'll call you back. Mr. and Mrs. Grossman, there's something wrong with your daughter. I'm sorry.
think I saw something in the fountain. Who did this? Pretty happy with yourself, aren't you? What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean. Nope, really don't. Oh, you mad I shitboxed you with Milo's medal? You're so gross. Eat your eggs. I feel bad for you. I wouldn't want to go do this. And I don't want to. I wouldn't say anything. Nothing good can come of this for you. I forgot who I was dealing with. You'll be just fine, you little psycho. Emma? We have to go. It's good to see you, Emma. Anytime I see one of Milo's classmates, it reminds me of how many friends he had and what a good person he was. How's your school break going? Fine, thank you. Mrs. Curtis, we have something that we want to give to you. Where did you find that? Apparently, Milo let Emma wear it for a while, and and then when he didn't come back, she kept it. She knows it was wrong, and she wants to apologize. Isn't that right, Emma? That's right. I'm very sorry. I shouldn't have kept it. I don't understand. Milo gave it to you to wear? Why? It was a game. I was gonna give it back, but he, but he never saw him again. Well, I don't know what to say. I'm glad you brought it back to me. This whole day is, I'm still in shock about Mrs. Ellis. I'm sorry. She's dead. She rolled her car on Glendale Avenue, and she was just here talking about Milo. I, I didn't know. I'm really sad, Daddy. Mrs. Ellis was my favorite teacher. Do we know how it happened? On the TV, it said there was a wasp's nest in her car. It was a science project or something, and she was stung. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. Daddy, I'm not feeling well. Can we go home? Sure. So, now we don't have to talk about Milo ever again, right? You're gonna run, Daddy. Chloe and I are baking cupcakes today. soon for a doctor's appointment. I'll be ready. Daddy, I was thinking. You're right. I think something good will come of this. I hope so. I have some magazines on the table you might like while you wait. I'm just going to have a little chat with your dad, if that's OK. Oh, of course, Dr. March. <sighs> so how can I help you and Emma? I don't know. Um... Well, what is your primary concern? 
Emma has always been different. Very, very much in a good way. But also, there's a coldness. I don't know how to say it. Um, a lack of emotion. I mean, she has emotions, but uh, she laughs or cries and all that. But it can be, um, I don't know. She's lying to me. And I don't trust her anymore. Well, it's very common for children her age to lie. Most kids struggle with their emotions. They very often don't know how or what they should be feeling at any point in time. It can be very taxing on a parent. Mr. Grossman, everyone thinks their issues are bigger than they are, more unique. And obviously, there are the rare cases, and I've had them, of real psychological illness. Anyway, I'm looking forward to talking to Emma. So, I'm not the kind of doctor who operates on people or things like that. I'm what's called You're a shrink. Well, you know that term. I watch intervention. Oh, yes. Well, I'm a psychiatrist, which is a fancy word for someone to talk to who can help you sort things out. I don't really need anything sorted out. Really? Well, why is that? I mean, most people have something that they would like to be different. I don't. Oh, I see. I understand that your friend Milo recently passed away. That's right. How did that make you feel? Pretty sad, I bet. I cried for two days. Oh, I understand. Was that the first time someone you knew died? No. Oh, I see. Dr. March, why do people get so upset when people die? It's going to happen to everyone sooner or later. Mm. It's a great question, Emma. We all do know it's inevitable, and we grieve anyway. You know, to feel or to have empathy for others is what it means to be human. Emma, I'm going to tell you a secret. I did the exact same things as you when I was your age. <laughs> well, you two seem to have really hit it off. <laughs> oh, we had a great talk, didn't we, Emma? Yes. <laughs> um, Daddy, can I go outside? Sure. Mm. Mr. Grossman, I have seen thousands of kids in my practice, and Emma seems 100% perfectly average. In fact, I told her she reminds me of myself. Hey there. Hey. How'd the appointment go? Fine. 
Emma's up in her room. Well, I guess I better put on some clothes. Head up there. Hope you don't mind me taking advantage of the sun. No, you got to take advantage of it. Got to take advantage. Yep. Don't you have any friends? What do you care? Clearly everyone thinks you're mental. Never, Chloe. Now that everyone knows you stole that dead kid's medal, it's just a matter of time. A matter of time until what? Until they find out what you did to him. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe I'll end up in the little pink chair. I'm gonna have my dad get rid of you. Go for it. He won't do it. Your dad and I understand each other. You can give me that psycho stare all you want, but the fact is this. Your dad's a DILF. D-I-L-F. Okay? And he's single. And he was totally just scoping me out. You wouldn't mind if he and I hooked up, would you? The poor guy needs a release. Let me just look at him. Stay away from my dad. Or what? Wouldn't I make a good stepmom? You don't scare me, little girl. I don't care if you stood there and watched that little kid drown, or even if you pushed him in. Where I come from, a spoiled little princess like you, ain't nothing, believe me. It's not nice to threaten people. But you and me, we're not nice, are we? Oh, Emma, you scare me. Do you like Chloe? Wait, what? She said that you like her. That you understand each other. She said she could be my stepmother someday. Whoa, 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 wait. Hold on a second. First of all, that would never happen. And why would she say something like that? You tell me. Emma. I don't want a stepmother. Ever. Everything's gonna be okay. I have a meeting, but I will be home early, okay? And we'll talk. Great, I'll wait up. Have fun on your date. So you never remarried? Nope. Like playing the field that much, huh? <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> it's so fulfilling. I mean, you know, especially raising a young girl. first opened the store, I had about four months. I was really worried, but then business picked up and it's been really good for six years now. Emma?
coming through to my house! Emma! Sir, are you the homeowner? Yes. Are you the homeowner? Yes, yes. I have a nine-year-old daughter. Her name is Emma. She's here with her nanny. Sir, your daughter is fine. She's in the house with one of my deputies. Now, unfortunately, there's been a terrible accident. The nanny, Chloe, was in the work shed when the fire broke out. I think she's in shock. Emma hasn't told us much, but apparently the young woman would sneak a smoke in the work shed. in very big trouble. And we need to talk and I need you to tell me the truth. I'm your father. I love you. I'm going to do anything I can to help you. You hurt Milo, didn't you? Didn't you? He was going to tell me that I took his medal. I didn't mean to hurt him. I pushed him. He fell. He kept on yelling and yelling that he couldn't swim. I didn't believe him. He always over-exaggerated. After a while, he stopped yelling and I couldn't see him anymore. I'm so sorry, Daddy. I didn't want to get into trouble. I won't do it again. Mrs. Levia, your first nanny, what happened to her? She should have never grabbed my arm. So I kicked her. She fell down the stairs. I didn't do anything wrong. She's the adult. She should have protected herself better. Like Mrs. Ellison of Wasps. Tonight, what did you do to Chloe? Emma! The sheriff will get to the bottom of this eventually, so don't give me the bullshit story. You said bullshit! Emma, do you know what could happen to you? Do you? What could happen to us? Yes, Daddy. They're gonna take me and they're gonna put me in the little chair. A little pink electric chair. I really don't want to go there. I don't want to see myself. Emma, what are you talking about? Chloe said she knew about Milo and one day everyone would. She said that they were going to take me to this little electric chair they put kids in. She told me she was going to be my stepmother. Uh, Emma, calm down. I don't want She stole pills from your room. I watched. She fooled you. 
You weren't gonna do anything about it. Not one thing! So you did. Isn't that right? Someone had to. Dr. March, I am out of the office for the next two weeks. If this is an emergency, please call 911, or you can call my associate, Dr. Metz, at 914-555-0111. This is David. Oh, hi, Mr. Grossman. This is Sheriff Peterson. Uh, sorry to call you so early. Just check in to see that you and Emma were doing okay? Yeah. Yeah, we're doing okay. Thank you. Good, good. Also, I was wondering uh, when would be a good time to talk. I don't want to intrude, but there are some questions I need to ask you and Emma, if that's possible. Uh... Yeah, Emma's very sick. She's upset about the accident, as you can imagine, and I have a a big day at work. Could we postpone, maybe for a few days? How's Monday? You and Emma. I'll come by the house. Sure, th that'll be great. I'll see you then. Emma. Pack your things. We have to leave. you. We haven't changed a bit. Well, cold air, hard work, no cable TV, and you two could live forever. <laughs> hey, is that who I think it is? It can't be, because Emma's just a baby, and you're a full-grown woman. It's very nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, too. You look just like your ma. Well, I'm glad you finally got to come up here. Your sister's been bogarting the place. Angela would live here full-time if she could. Well, if you need anything, you let me know, and I'll be right up. And it's uh, good to see you after all the years, Emma. You too. Thanks, Brian. I'll call you if I need you. All right. You should have called me, David. What good would that have done? And I wasn't thinking straight. Still not thinking straight. Chloe, that poor girl. How could such a thing have happened? What did the police or, or firefighters say? They're investigating. Well, how's Emma? Should I come up to the lake house? I can take off work. No. It's fine. We're just taking some time away. I gotta go. Hey, call me. I'm worried about you, David.
Hello? We found the source of the fire. It was deliberately set. Do you know who did it? Not yet. But uh, from what we've sent to lab, we'll know pretty soon. Okay, all right. Keep me posted. Will do. Aren't you gonna answer? Emma, I don't like you sneaking around like that. How long were you standing there? Were you snooping on me? I think you were snooping on me. I told you. I didn't do anything wrong. I would never hurt anyone for no reason. I would never, ever do that. You think I would? Do you, Daddy? I don't know anymore. That makes me sad.
Why? Why would you do that to me? I'm the only person you have. You know? If something happened to you, I'd live without Angela. At least she thinks I'm nice. Oh my God.
done. You're alive. You miss Daddy? Didn't drink the hot chocolate you made for me. You did. When I switched them. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Emma, I know you're in there. Emma! Open the door! <laughs> Emma! Open the door! Emma, just come out. I'm not gonna hurt you. We'll just go to sleep together. We'll go see mommy. Emma! <laughs> Stop right there, David! What the hell's going on? Help! He's trying to kill me! Don't listen to her. She's not right. There's something wrong with her. Put down the gun. I have to do this. Please. I have to protect her from herself. They're coming for her. I will not let you hurt that girl. That's just the problem. Nothing hurts her. Forgive me. Is gonna shoot that little girl. No question. Just wish I'd done this sooner. I'm so sorry. Was Daddy sick? Yes. Yes, I think so. I think your daddy was sick. Everything's going to be okay. Angela, can we go home? Can I have ice cream? You can have whatever you want.
नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते बहना आज हम बात करने वाले प्लानिंग की इस चैप्टर को उड़ाते हैं अब समझो कंसेप्चुअली प्लानिंग में होता क्या है तुमने भाई अपने जीवन में बहुत सारे प्लान बनाए हैं बहुत बार तुमने उठा के पूरा बहुत इलेबरेट एक एक चीज एक एक सेकंड तुमने मैंशन करी वो करी वो करी होता क्या है अगर तुम अगर उसको शॉर्ट में देखोगे तुम्हारे प्लान जहाँ पूरे नहीं हो रहे होते दो या तीन दिन में तुम गिवअप कर देते हो तुम्हारे साथ हुआ है पचास बार हुआ है जीवन में या पांच बार हुआ है तुमने प्लान बनाए हैं और तुम भूल भी चुके हो तुमने प्लान बनाया था हाँ यार बनाया था लेकिन वो हुआ ही नहीं वर्क ही नहीं किया तो तुम वो गिव अप कर गए पूरी चीज क्योंकि वो नहीं किया अब इसमें हमें समझना है फ्लॉ क्या है क्या रीजन है तुम्हारी प्लानिंग वर्क नहीं करी तो मैं अभी मैं कहूँ भाई प्लान बनाओ एक हफ्ते का तुम कहाँ से बना रहे हो वो प्लान आ कहाँ से रहा है थ्योरी से आ रहा है तुम्हारा प्लान असल में वो होता है जो एक्चुअल में डेली तुम जब अपना डेटा एक्वायर कर रहे हो मैं कैसे फंक्शन करता हूँ उसके बेसिस पे बताता है क्वालिटी क्या हुई प्लान की वो कॉन्स्टेंटली मॉडिफाइंग है जो आपका पहला प्लान था उसका सक्सेस रेट बहुत कम होगा हो सकता है टेन परसेंट ही हो क्योंकि वो कंप्लीट थ्योरी से आ रहा है कंप्लीट इमेजिनेशन से आ रहा है एक आइडियल जिंदगी क्या होगी मेरी वो वहां से आ रहा है आइडियल लाइफ रियल लाइफ का कोई रिलेशन नहीं है रियल लाइफ या रियल जो प्लान है प्रैक्टिकल प्लान है वो आता है भाई कहां से जहां पे तुम डेली डेटा एक्वायर कर रहे हो कि भाई क्या फेल हो रहा है और मैं काम कैसे कर रहा हूं क्या चीजें मैं कर पाया क्या चीजें मुझसे नहीं हो पाई वो क्यों नहीं हो पाई उनको क्या बदल सकता हूं जिससे वो हो जाएंगी तो वो कॉन्स्टेंटली म्यूटेटिंग प्लान है एक मॉडिफाइंग प्लान है तो प्लानिंग का ये कॉन्स्टेंट चीज समझो जिसकी वजह से तुम जो चीजें एक सेकंड तीन दिन में गिव अप कर देते तुम्हें वो टेंडेंसी चेंज करनी है और तुम्हें चेंज करना है क्या प्लान को मॉडिफाई करना है वो प्लान वर्क करेगा थ्योरी से आने वाला नहीं एक्शन से आने वाला तो ये छोटा सा चेंज मारो अपने दिमाग में प्लान वो वर्क करते हैं जो एक्शन से आते हैं डेटा चाहिए तुम्हें प्लान को वर्क करने के लिए जितना तुम प्लान को फॉलो करते चले जाओगे उतना तुम्हें डेटा मिलता चला जाएगा उतना तुम्हें प्लान को फिर मॉडिफाई करना है तो ये चीज कॉन्सेप्चुअल चीज है छोटी सी समझ में नहीं आती लोगों को अगर समझ में आ जाए अब तुम्हें आई गई है भाई अब देखो तुम कैसे फाड़ो की चीज आगे ठीक है नेक्स्ट चैप्टर पर आते हैं